technical definition of active labor is when your cervix is dilated from six centimeters in dilation to eight centimeters of dilation. And we have actually covered the other stages. We have talked about um, the first part of labor, which is early labor, which is zero centimeters dilated to six centimeters dilated. And then we talked about what comes after active labor transition, which is eight centimeters to 10. So active is our uh, part of the middle. I mean, is our middle part of uh, labor. And classically active is, is what it looks like. It's really when contractions are in a steady pattern. They have grown longer, stronger, and closer together than they were in earlier phases of labor. They are generally between five minutes apart to three minutes apart. And they generally last about one minute to maybe about a minute and a half in time, so in length of contraction from start to finish. They last about a minute to a minute and a half. So this is the part of labor that is really when you get going. So active labor typically looks like when labor is strong enough that it's not gonna slow down, it has a nice pattern, and generally you're having to work through your contractions. If you are unmedicated during this part, you are generally having to stop, concentrate, maybe use some of your coping techniques, breathing, um, different positioning. So it's when there's a lot of work being done on your cervix and with your body and um, labor is tense not to slow down after you get into that active labor pattern. Now, if you don't have your cervix checked, you don't really know if you're technically in active labor, but if you see your contraction pattern um, in that five, three to five minutes apart, that would be from a start of a contraction to the start of the next contraction, and about that length, then you have an idea that you might be in active labor. So as you learn coping, um, coping techniques and um, different labor strategies, active labor is the time that you're gonna get those out. So if an early labor is time a time when hopefully you can just um, do some more distracting activities, rest activities, uh, active is where you're really going to bring out what you learned in childbirth class and what you learned in your prep on your way to um, labor and birth. So it's an exciting phase of labor to get into because it is, um, it's really when your body is, is making lots of changes and working very hard uh, with your contractions. And so, um, yeah, active labor. It is a positive thing um, and gets you one step closer to the actual birth. So thanks for letting me spin the big wheel today and talk about active labor. I will put more links down below uh, for more information about um, what we're talking about about this topic. And also, if you need tips and information for partners out there who are giving support to someone in active labor or any phase of labor, check out the Supporting Her online class for partners. Uh, links down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helps other people find this video and enjoy it as well. Also, subscribe to the channel and you can get notified for our next video coming up. Uh, thanks and enjoy this little moment with Nathan. He's my youngest of four. Anyway, he hears about birth a lot. And yesterday he was in my office here and he knows about the wheel and um, he said oh you have a blank space on your wheel and, and I said yeah that was I took off the one that I did yesterday and he said well what happens when you have all blank spaces and I said well you know I every time I take one off I add a new one okay so I'm at the computer working and he said well can I write a new one for your wheel where did I put it oh, here it is. and I said sure yeah, whatever. And so he wrote, he didn't spell it right, but he wrote breathing, B-R, he wrote it B-R-E-E-T-H-I-N-G. And I said, well, that's a really good one, but I'm sure I have that one. Um, especially being a lost child birth educator, we talk about breathing a lot. Not only breathing, but breathing. And I said, well, I'm sure that's on the wheel. 
check it. And so he goes over and checks it. He said, no, it's, it's not on there. <laughs> I was like, that's a really good idea. So as you can see, or maybe not see, but I replaced the one yesterday with Nathan's idea of breathing. And then he said, well, I was going to write the one that's, which is horse lips. But he, he said, I don't remember what it was called, <laughs> which also cracked me up that he knew a, an additional strategy for pain management, horse lips, but he wasn't sure. So we'll have to put horse lips on here after today, whatever one is done today. So little story. If you have kids and you are a doula or childbirth educator, um, comment, let me know, send me a message. I'd love to know if you can relate to the story.